How are you? Assuming pretty good after that win. Can you tell me how you're, uh, how you're feeling? I feel really good. I got to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I, um, about a year ago this time, I came back and stressed that, you know, just how hard I'd be working to develop new skills in the, in the octagon or you know, with a cage. And, um, you know, I'm just really glad that it got to show itself today, you know? Yeah, for sure. And that knee, you were landing it throughout the fight, so it, it kind of makes sense that that was what put him away. Was that something that you saw when you watched film? or is that Yeah, I was you... doing it in my sleep. Um, no, I, yeah, as soon as I met Henry, he was somebody that, you know, he, he spent a lot of time with me and um, kind of helped me put a system of offense together and, you know, find things that I liked, find things I didn't like, things I gravitated towards. And the, knee was probably the, the knees were probably the first thing that he and I really gelled on and were able to build an offense around. And, um, you know, it took me five years, but I'm glad I was able to do it in a fight systematically. And walk me through uh, what went on in your mind during the finish. It was kind of interesting. You knocked him down. It seemed like you didn't want to hit him anymore. And it was the referee and you and him were all kind of on different yeah, wavelengths. Um, I mean, look, I understand the, the business that we're in. And I would, I would hope that everybody they get to the cage with understands it too. But that said, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to cause permanent, permanent damage to people. So, I mean, look. This is a violent sport with violent things happening all the time. Not even the first time tonight, something crazy violent happened. But that said, you know, I felt like I felt like the job was done. I, I didn't have to do anymore. I mean, you know, I know it's you wait till the ref steps in kind of thing, but you know, whatever. He, he told me to keep going. I finished the job. So I saw you went over to Scott Coker and Rich afterwards. What did you say to them? I said, let's do it again soon. Um, my shins kind of bothering me. I went shin to shin with them probably two or three times, but. Um, no, I, <clears throat> I haven't been fighting as often as I like. I haven't fought. As an amateur, I fought. <clears throat> I did the math recently. But one of the 15 or so times I fought as an amateur, uh, on average, I competed with grappling tournaments. Um, I competed once every two or three months. And I, mean, I know in the pros are different. My body's changing. I'm getting older. I can't necessarily keep that, pay to, that, that pace up. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I want to compete more often. I, I really feel like... Competing, put your, your skills to the test really is the gateway through, you know, the big improvement that you see. Uh, Steven, you hit him with so many knees. The advantage of having no fans is that we could really hear the impact. Are you surprised that he was able to take that many yeah. before he went down? Yeah, the first one, um, the first one I kind of saw him go a little bit, but it wasn't enough to make me, you know, think that I'd had the, the job done. But I made sure to follow it up just because, you know, that's what we practice and that's the game, right? But, um, but no, I, I really felt like, uh, I don't know if you heard my coach, Sean, but he was saying the same thing. He's saying, I felt like it was going to be there. And every, even when we were drilling, moving around in the back, I felt like every time it popped it up, I was able to find something. So, yeah. yeah you, you just mentioned that you said to Scott Coker and Rich Shaw that you want to get right back in there. You're 8-0. You know, I believe you were undefeated as the amateur too. You think it's time to, you know, go from the prelims, which you originally scheduled to, to, you know, a main card against, there's a lot of big names in the heavyweight division. You know, you shot to really step up and take out one of those big names. No, I'm not a name guy. I don't, I don't say names. I don't, um, I don't bully. I don't name call. Everybody, everybody there you put in the cage with, I'm going to try to finish. I'm going to try to take out. Um, and as for, you know, getting off the prelims and getting on the main card, I really feel like if there was going to be a time to do it, it, it was today, you know. Sean Teed um, was a champion in promotion before this. He, he was a really accomplished fighter. Um, I think they made a good signing when they picked him up. And if you're, if you're going to have <clears throat> two guys get their bump to the main card on a Bellator show, especially the first one on CBS, not to toot my horn or anything, but I think Sean Teed and I were the, the guys to do it, you know. So that said, um, I was just talking about prelims. I was on the main card. What else do you want from me? Jeez. <laughs> Who brings these guys? <laughs> Steve. Um... Just joking, my dude. Besides just the knees, you were landing the overhand all night. Um, you were really picking your shots. Do uh, you think you were going for that first knockout of your Bellator career? No, I was um, – I mean, I wanted the first knockout. But, uh, no, I mean, I was just trying to trying to do the stuff that I drill every day. I feel like I wasn't perfect, but I feel like I did, you know, about a, a B, B- minus job compared to how I normally perform in the gym. Um, so, uh, no, I, was, I really was just trying to put my full skill set on display and – you know, the grappling didn't come into play, which kind of was the game plan for me. But, uh, you know, that said, um, no, I wasn't planning on anything. I was just going to go in there and fight. And then, you know, Lord willing, or, and God's good, I got my hand raised.
Jay Anderson. Hey, Steve, congrats on the win. You uh, kind of touched on it a little, but getting that boost to the main card, were you cognizant of the fact that you'd be for performing in front of a, a much wider audience on CBS and therefore, you know, a lot more people are going to see this performance? Um, yeah, I mean, look, we, uh, we found out we were going to be on the main card when we were about to walk. Um, so kind of... I, I had to kind of compartmentalize it. You know, I kind of had to stop and be like, oh, okay, like, it's just to move up. And I, you know, I was able to frame it, I think, correctly in my mind. Um, but yeah, that did come into my head. You know, a lot more people are probably going to see. And I mean, I think if you're going to have a performance that the CBS audience is going to bring, um, I think that's the one that you want. And, you know, you mentioned he was a champion in another promotion. He's fought some tough guys. Juan Adams, Chris Dawkins, uh, Azuna, I want to who's uh, Chris fighting too, huh? He did. He did. Yeah. You're absolutely correct. Um, so, I mean, I know you don't want to call out names, but are you looking at least for a veteran, someone higher up in the rankings here to really test yourself against? Or yeah, we'll are you just... We'll Sorry. see what happens here. I'm just trying to beat people up and get paid for it. Fair enough, man. Congrats on the win tonight. <clears throat> Thank you. Donna? Hey, Steve. Congratulations on, on a big win. Can you talk me through practically how the the move went down and how it affected your preparations from the prelims to the main card. I mean, obviously, you said you were about to make the walk. Someone comes in and tells you, actually, you're going to make the walk in an hour and a half's time. Uh, can you talk us through who it was who told you and, and, and how it affected things uh, behind the scenes for you? It was um, – I don't, I don't know his last name. His first name is Mike. Um, mm -hmm. One of the awesome gentlemen that, who works, you know, the behind the scenes at Bellator. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Um kind of a little bit of like an excitement and I I tried to frame it in my head like you know this is kind of some adversity but I knew that it was the kind of adversity I could come out on the other side of and say that it was something I was able to adjust for. Uh, I asked Mandel earlier as well because obviously you you weren't in there for a, a great deal of time is there a chance maybe you try to sneak on to one of these uh, these cards I see a lot of open spaces i'm thinking particularly the darian caldwell aj mckee card for for you to maybe slot on uh in a couple of weeks i mean we'll see what happens here i've been um <clears throat> i was supposed to fight in february and i had a, a medical thing and i was supposed to fight in july but i had that false positive coronavirus test um so i've been working 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 ready for to get the call for a long time um and i'm gonna take a little bit of time so let my body heal up and catch up to me. But yes, to answer your question, I am going to try to get healed up, get back in the gym, get sharp, do my thing. And yeah, hopefully you'll see me before too long here. Lenny? How's it going, Steve? How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. My question's uh, not going to be about you. I'm going to let you breathe about the fight for about 10 seconds. Uh, so I know you had Linton Vassell in your corner today. When could we possibly see him in the cage, if you know? See him in the cage? I'm sorry? Uh, when could we see Linton Vassell in, in the cage? In the cage. Um, I don't want to talk out of school, but I think pretty soon here. Okay, okay. That's good, good enough for me. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. And our last question comes from the line of Sean Lennon. Go ahead, Sean. Uh, Steve, congratulations on the win once again. You know, you. talk about how is this fight more fun and less stressful for you, you know, going towards – you know, looking back at what you had to deal with and the adversity of two cancel fights that you were going to just go out there and, you know, basically display everything you've been working on. And it was just, you know, stress-free and just a release for you. <clears throat> no, there's no such thing as stress-free free inviting. Um, I feel like uh, fighting's always been that thing for me that I love. And um, it's always going to have a deep-seated place in my heart. But, like, just like the people that you love most fighting for me, it takes me to my, my darkest places, but it takes me to my, my highest peaks. Um, so no, um, I can't, I can't say that it was just fun, but it, it was fun. And it was, you know, I will say what was a little bit different about this fight was, <clears throat> um, I was able to, I was able to blend the, the fun and the excitement of it with, you know, the, the nerves and the, you know, the, I guess the stress you would call it of, you know, fighting. And I'm, I can't, I can't say how happy I am that it shook out like that. Um, especially, you know, like I said, winning fights is cool, but like just as cool as winning fights is, you know, making your family, your friends, your coaches, your teammates happy. So, um, 
Shouts to Sanford. Shouts to all my friends and family. Shouts to my girlfriend, Allie. She's had to put up with a lot these last few months. All right. Thanks, Steve. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, guys.